Uh, yo, what's going on, Comfy Gang? Comfy Neat here. So today I wanted to talk about, um, well, I guess how my family thinks I'm a weirdo. And um, I guess there's, I'm just gonna be providing like a lot of evidence for this or more, I guess, talk about like, um, I guess the things they do that I guess indicate that they think I'm weird. And one of the main things I feel uh, for the longest time is that, um, you know, obviously this is better than them just outright hating me. And um, so I guess that's a good thing. But um, at the same time, like I always feel like uh, for the longest time, I've always just been like accommodated or like I'm, 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 I'm invited to stuff just based on the fact that I'm family, but when I'm there, it's like people have this sort of connection to each other. Like they're able to like act like normal and like be close. But for me, it's more like um, I'm like being accommodated and it's like, it's sort of like a necessary evil for them to like interact with me. And, um, you know, like, I guess talk to me, try and ask me one or two questions to show that they care. Um, but then, um, at the same time, like, I guess, like, not actually want to talk to me. So, like, they'll ask me a few questions, but then the conversation will be about things about their lives. And then they'll ask me things about myself. And then when I don't have anything interesting to say or don't have, like, any stories to tell, then they just kind of move on. But, you know, that's partly my fault because I don't have nothing to say. But then that in itself makes them think that I'm weird. And also, um, at the same time, it's like, I'll try and sometimes contribute to the conversation and then they'll, they'll, they'll all like, sometimes it's like, sometimes I'll say something that's just weird and then they'll just straight up ignore me. And other times like I'll say something and then they'll, they'll all like, um, look at me, but it's like, maybe it's cause I never say anything or it's like, they're trying to, uh, they're trying to show me that they're paying attention, but they don't really have anything to say to what I say. It's more like, like, oh, that's like, oh, that's interesting. Like, it's like they, they talk to me in this like weird, like baby talk, like, I don't know, like this, it's almost like, I don't know if it's not their intention perhaps, but it's like this weird, like patronizing tone of voice. Like, it's almost as if, they think I'm some like, I'm gonna go like postal at any second. So they're trying to be like extra nice and like, like fucking like smile way too hard and like be like, oh, like, I don't know, it's weird. It's like, just to like appease me because they think I'm gonna like go postal and like shoot a restaurant or something, which I'm not gonna do by the way. Well, I might shoot up uh, fucking uh, KFC because it's trash. Okay, never mind. That's a bad joke. <laughs> Um, I mean, KFC where I live is pretty bad, but, um, anyways, so yeah, there's that. And they kind of like talk me in this patronizing tone. And, um, another thing is that I guess when I first, cause it's like when I was visiting, uh, Canada as a kid, uh, yeah, you guys know where I live by now. Like when I was visiting Canada as a kid, like they would give me the benefit of the doubt because, you know, I was... I was, uh, I guess, not 18 yet, but you know, once you cross that certain threshold, that certain age where you become like an adult and it's like, you still act awkward and shy to people, then automatically they start, it's not, it's, it's no longer like acceptable. And then now they start treating you as if you're like some sort of creep or like serial killer or whatever. And yeah, so there's that. It's like, I guess I don't really get off any like good vibes and then like like I don't give off like friendly or like I don't know like sociable like vibes to people and they I guess may make them uncomfortable like it makes like normal people uncomfortable and then yeah it makes them think I'm weird and like a threat or something it's like and you know it, it's like I do these things that I do in like all like my person to person communication that makes people think I'm weird like I'll you know, maybe speak with the wrong like tone of voice. I'll say too many things. Like I'll nerd out and like 
it's because it's yeah i'll nerd out and like talk about something i'm really interested in for like way too long to the point where like the person like loses interest and it's not even like that long it's like obviously like i know enough to uh like cut myself off or just end it there but it's like i don't know it's like is it the way i'm saying things or it's what i'm saying or like a combination of both that it just bores people or it makes them think like i'm not interesting or I'm, that i'm weird and, and it's like i say like one weird thing and all of a sudden it's like people are like trying to like not make eye contact with me or like they completely everybody it's like the whole like table just completely like ignores me at the same time like these are my family by the way and um yeah um in those cases or like you know maybe pause for 0 0.5 seconds too long while responding and then or like stuttering or being nervous or all these little things all these minutia of like person-to-person -person communication that well i fail at and it's not like i'm like completely failing it's like i'm doing like 99 95 percent of it right but even that like five percent matters and the moment you fuck up then everybody thinks you're a fucking weirdo and a creep and they all, they all jump to conclusions and um yeah and so yeah and then they do things like ignore me or be patronizing or um you know yeah and then also another thing it's like i don't know when they it's like it's so weird because also because of the fact that like i never um like i guess talk about my experience with like i guess like my pretty much non-experience non-existent experience with like like women or like uh like i never talk about having a girlfriend like and that's the thing like sometimes like they'll ask if i have a girlfriend or if i'm dating but like they used to ask that and they just completely outright stop ask asking that and then it's like they're it's all like it's all like weird now like really awkward and they never like bring it up or and it's like i feel like all the guys like extended family who are like guys like think that i'm gay or something when i'm when i'm not and all of the uh i guess like girls who are extended family or even like <laughs> like female female like relatives like they think like I'm like fucking like I don't know it's weird like maybe I'm I'm what jump jumping to conclusions and maybe they just think I'm weird but they're not thinking that but it almost feels like they um fucking think I'm some like sexual predator <laughs> just based on the fact that like I act in these really socially awkward and like self-conscious ways but that's just the conclusions I jump to and one proof that I have of this is like I was I was just like hanging out at the like we were all like hanging out at the beach like this one time and I was walked towards the water and it's like they 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 see me and like they're wait like one of them like one of my cousins was like waving to me but then she like all of a sudden she like she's like in a bikini she like covered her chest or whatever and it's like 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 what the fuck like it's like she doesn't do this to anybody else to none of my other cousins but when like i'm walking towards her it's like she has to like cover her chest and like act all like afraid that i'm like looking at her like fucking tits or whatever like it's like jeez i'm not i'm not like that much of a fucking freak like okay like i'm actually sort of a degenerate in the sense that i basically don't do shit with my time but it's like they just like to jump to these fucking crazy ass fucking conclusions in their head and assume that i'm some like yeah it's not a good feeling and it's quite frankly it's suicide fuel and yeah and another thing is like one of my cousins has a kid right and this kid i guess was trying like she was at the point of at the phase where she was like trying to like smile and laugh at everybody but because i'm socially uh i guess awkward and like e like to everybody even like kids right like when, when a baby smiles at me, like, I know I'm supposed to smile back and laugh and do all, like, the baby talk stuff, like, like, oh, that's very nice, blah, blah, blah. like, I can't even fucking do it now, like, but I'm supposed to do all that stuff, but then I can't actually do it properly because, well, 
of all my issues and because of that this child started like making strange with me and like being kind of shy or even like afraid and man just like the looks my family members gave me like oh my god like makes me honestly want to hang myself because it's like like they just you could you could if you saw them you could tell from the way that they were looking at me that they thought that i was some sort of like child predator and oh, man fuck like that's like why the fuck would you jump to that conclusion first of all and secondly like yeah it's like they were just giving me these like really like like brooding like looks or like these deadpan like stares at me and or they are kind of like when the baby was like supposed to be interacting with me like one of them was like trying to get the baby to interact with me but the baby was obviously shy and then you know obviously the person in front of me was like trying to like act all nice and stuff but i guess my cousin but like the ones who weren't there who were like interacting normally with the baby because they're just normal people like they're either like looking away all like fucking like all weird about it or they just um like were just looking at me when they thought because i could see them from like my periphery like looking at me like giving me this stare almost like threatening me or maybe just like definitely like i could tell that they saw me as some sort of like danger like i was a dangerous like unknown factor like in the whole like whatever social circle and that they were all like keeping their eye on me waiting for me to like just wait just waiting for me to do something one thing that could give them ex give them an excuse to hate me and then fucking like throw me aside like i just those are just like and obviously it sounds like from the way i'm talking that this might just all be in my head but i don't think so i think certainly some of it's true maybe i'm making it out to be a little bit worse than it is but there's definitely something there like this weird like unease and uncomfortableness that they have around me that just indicates that they think that i'm weird and i know that they think that i'm weird and that's like they it's like they only um yeah can't really think of what else to say so i'm just gonna leave it at that and um yeah and also just wanted to announce that i'm gonna be um releasing my new I guess beginning my new series soon and what is it about i guess you'll find out in the video that i release tomorrow uh i guess introducing it so anyways to stay tuned make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below and hopefully you guys enjoy this video and this is comfy neat signing out hopefully you guys hopefully you guys don't think i'm some sort of fucking uh serial killer but anyways yeah peace